everybody this is eternal blade here with a new tutorial on how to develop a tileable texture for tiles you can use these in bathrooms and kitchens and really any area in an architectural rendering so here's just an overall image of what we're going to be trying to achieve uh, so it's extremely realistic looking and if you uh, zoom in a little closer here uh, you can see we've got nice reflections here bump reflections in the tiles um, you know lower reflections here in the grout with a nice bump map uh, we also have a displacement modifier in here so this will be our end result. You can just use it for um, pretty much any of your scenes and it's pretty quick. So let's just uh, jump, right in, jump right in. So the first thing we're going to need are two textures. One is a generic tile texture. You can Google it, take a picture of your own, do whatever you'd like. And the other is a generic grout texture. You can choose a gray one, brown one, white one, whichever color. Uh, just Google two images and make sure they're at least probably about a thousand by a thousand pixels just to give you a bit of um, geometry to work with and some density. So let's head into Photoshop. Uh, you can also use GIMP or you know whatever program you prefer. So we'll go to File New and create a document 2000 by 2000 pixels. All right. And we'll just go ahead and double click on the background here and press OK. And let's create a new layer. And because this is 28 units wide, we're going to go ahead and grab this ruler and just bring it 14. Grab here and bring this to 14. Now, if you don't have these rulers, just go to View and Rulers, or you can press uh, Control R to show them. So press B for the brush tool and make sure you have a black solid selected. And let's just zoom in here a little bit. So click in the middle here and hold, press Shift, and just drag a black line down. Do the same here. Click, Shift, drag. And for the sides, do the same thing, but try to get your brush so it only covers half of the width. Okay, and what that'll do is allow you to make this tileable without your lines being too thick on one side or too thin on another. All right, so perfect. Now we can just go to the move tool and grab these rulers and drag them away. We don't need them anymore. So let's go ahead here and make two folders. All right, so click um, the new folder icon right here twice. Group two, we'll name it tile. And group one, just double clicking here, we'll name grout. So in your layer one where we drew the black lines, go to your magic wand tool, or you can just do a selection. Click, hold shift, and click in the other three white squares. Now let's go ahead here and go to our grout layer and click new layer mask. All right, now go to your tile layer and Let's actually grab these again, select inverse, go to your tile layer and add another layer mask. So see one of the masks is black and one of them is white. So if I just hide our black lines and go into the grout layer here and add a new layer inside of the folder and press B, you'll see I can only um, make drawings inside of the area but not in the grout. And so actually that means we need to rename these. This one will be grout, and this one will be named tile. All right, and in the other area, if we make a new image, we can only draw in the grout areas. So let's just go ahead and copy our grout image that we have here. So copy image. Now in the grout section, we're gonna go ahead and paste it. All right, so you see we just have it here, and just go ahead and keep pasting these until we cover all of the different uh, grout lines. You can just move it around with the move tool. Okay? And you could scale it up if you want, but I do kind of like to have a little bit of that um, smaller detail in here. Okay? So just like this. Now grab your layer, hold shift and click the bottom most grout layer, right click and press merge layers. That'll just get us a unified grout layer. Okay? Now for your tile layer, let's go ahead and grab our tile image over here. Right click, copy image, Come over here to the tile and press Control V. All right, and now press Control T to transform. Hold Shift and just scale this up until it fits into our box. So now we've got something like this, which is basically your standard tile. Let's go ahead and File, Save As, and we'll um, create a new folder. We'll call this uh, Tile 01. And go ahead and call this tile 
diffuse. Okay, and save it as a JPG. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and hide everything. Oh, sorry, just hide your folders there and unhide your initial lines you drew. So we have just a black and white image. And we're gonna save this as tile displacement. Okay, and just go ahead and save that as a JPG as well. Now what we need to do is turn on both of our layers here. Hold shift and click, select them all. Right click, duplicate layers, press okay. Then right click and press merge layers. So what we can do here is just go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, and bring the saturation all the way down. And we can probably even bring the lightness down just a touch, something like that. And we're gonna do file, save as, and this will be our bump map, okay? So just save it as a JPG again, again. tile bump. Perfect, and now we need to do a reflection. So take this same map and drag your top layer on top. So you get this kind of black uh, layer and just bring the opacity down to about oh, 60 or so, uh, just so it's not completely dark. Then go File, Save As, and we'll call this one um, Tile Reflect. Okay. And those are the four main maps we need. So let's jump over to 3ds Max. So I've just um, created a simple texture here, just to test it ahead of time. So we'll go ahead and just create a new V-Ray material. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and call this Tile. All right, and let me go ahead and just delete these modifiers we've got on here. So I just have a plane, uh, simple. And let's apply our Tile material to this um, plane here. And in the diffuse map, standard bitmap, let's go ahead and choose our diffuse. All right, double click on the diffuse texture and just press show shaded material in viewport so we can see it over there. Um, in the reflect, we're going to grab the, um, actually we're gonna go ahead and, yeah. So standard bitmap and grab reflect. Now if we make this bigger, and we right click and press open preview window. And we just expand this a little bit. Uh, you're gonna see if we turn the background on, we're not extremely reflective here. Sorry, my mistake, there we go. So what we need to do is from our bitmap here, go to maps, standard, and color correction. And in here, we just need to bring the brightness up a little bit. This will just make our whole, our whole image a bit more reflective. And you can kind of increase the play with the contrast and then bring that into the reflect slide. And you'll immediately see you get a bit more uh, defined reflections. Now if you're bump map, standard bitmap, and find your bump texture, you'll immediately see you get some very nice results there. Now where the magic happens though, is let's close this. Click on your plane Let's go ahead and add a V-Ray displacement mod right over here. Okay, now what we need to do is just go to Maps, Standard, Bitmap, and grab our Tile Displacement. So I'm gonna do a quick render here. Um, and actually, yeah, I'm gonna render this out and just let you see what it looks like. All right. So right now you don't really uh, see anything. It looks it looks flat. And that's because we need this VR displacement modifier. So let's go ahead and just drag this window out and grab this and put this in text map and press an instance. And make sure you're on 2D mapping and let's just leave the amount at 0.5. So if I grab a little portion of this again and re-render it, you're gonna kind of see that we now have a bit of a lip on this. Now it's really difficult to see because of the scale. So let's go ahead and add an unwrap or just do a UVW map here. And let's change this to about uh, five by five by five. And let's just bring our camera in a little closer here. Okay, so something like this. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and re-render that image. And we'll cancel this and just re-render the whole image here. All right, now that it's done, you can see that we have those nice reflections there that are kind of softer with the bump going on there. No reflections so much on the grout. Um, everything is perfectly tileable, and this is perfect for pretty much any interior rendering. So, um, I mean, it looks especially good, you know, if you're far away, close up, it doesn't really matter. So that's just a quick uh, tutorial on how to um, create a tileable tile texture. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and perhaps uh, learned a thing or two. Uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share my videos whenever you get as a chance, as well as check out my Facebook and Google Plus page for sneak peeks of uh, future tutorials. And uh, if you like this video, be sure to check out uh, my other you know, interior prop series for the ceiling fans and blinds and such. And you know, let me know in the comments uh, what other textures you'd like to see me create. Um, it's kind of actually cool doing this sort of tutorial, so I'd like to do a few more. So just uh, let me know um, if you'd like to see some specific material. So with that being said, I will see you next time, and as always, happy modeling.